I guess just throwing it back to, to growing up in London, to Nigerian parents, how much yeah. did that culture help you growing up in, in London and, and form who you are today? Yeah, I think um, obviously London's a, London's a really, really busy place, very, very diverse, multicultural. So um, I was exposed to a lot of cultures from, early, from yeah. a young age. And I think just having a hunger and desire, like there's a lot, there's also, I grew up in a pretty rough area, so it's really easy to go down the wrong track and be sidetracked and get into the wrong kind of thing. So I think football was always kind of like my release, um, just to keep me out of trouble and like make a living for myself and my family to, to get ourselves out of a situation that wasn't the greatest. So um, yeah, like I'm really, really grateful for my, for my upbringing and where I am today. Now onto football, so many incredible Nigerian players have blessed the, the Premier League. Yeah. Growing up, who, who were you watching? Which, which Nigerian players were you looking at? Definitely um, JJ Okocha. Every, he had all of us on toast in the yeah, playground. When he, when he was at Bolton, um, yeah, like, I was obsessed with him. He's, he'd always have a highlight every week yeah. where he'd do something or completely disgrace a defender. And you score your first international goal in November. Talk to me through that moment. It's been a long time coming, you know. Yeah. Um, I like to pride myself on being able to, to pop up in the box and get a few goals, but um, I think I might, might have been my 27th or 28th cap before I got my first goal. But um, it, was, it, was, it was really... Really, really, um, a really happy day for me. A uh, dream come true to get my first goal for my country. Now, something that a lot of Nigerian fans are talking about at the minute is your partnership with Fulham's Calvin Bassi. How has that been formed and, and how do you view that? Yeah, we've um, probably played about five or six games together now. Um, I'm more the senior one out of the yeah. two of us. Um, so yeah, I'm always trying to give him pointers and keep him, keep him alert. Um, and I think we, we complement each other well. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he's got a really bright future ahead of him. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to play him, playing alongside him some more. And reflecting on your journey, you've obviously played for Nigeria under 20s to now approaching 30 caps. When you look back at that transition from making it to the age groups into now being an established first team player, how do you view that? Yeah, it's crazy, honestly. Um, I would have never ever pictured myself being as established in the, in the first team as I am um, now. Like, obviously I dreamed about it, but um, I remember back playing for the under 20s, um, just, just being in that camp was a, was a dream come true. So to, to eventually make my full Super Eagles debut and to now be pushing pushing 30 caps is um, something I'm really, really grateful for. Going into an immensely competitive competition tournament, how do you view the, the current squad? Do you, what, where are your aims and targets going into AFCON? Um, our, squad, our squad is probably one of the best squads I've, I've been a part yeah. of since I've been, been with the Super Eagles and I've been with them for about, about five years now, over five years. Um, so yeah, we've got really, I've got really high hopes for us. Um, hopefully, we can go all the way and make make Nigeria proud. The Nigeria yeah. kits are always yeah, the it's, best. We've got a pretty nice kit. Will right sent me the, you know, the peacock warm up top. Yeah. From I texted him as soon as I saw it. I yeah. was like, you're gonna have to send me one, and he sent it, sent it in the post. Yeah, but. yeah, nah, all of our kits like the, the training gear, the home, the like. The loungewear, yeah. the match day kit, the, tra the track suits, all of it's like fire. So yeah, you nice. said it's like, like the most requested thing. Like, like just has really to leave job. with bags. Just to yeah, try. honestly, yeah. Every every camp I leave with like half a suitcase full of kit, and then as soon as I get home, I've got like a list of requests of people who, who I need to get. Some. I need to get out to. Yeah. Or well, add me on and show me good luck for that. <laughs> no worries, man. Thank you. <laughs>